Hey everyone, today we're going to use the luminance and color range tool to isolate a part of my image and then apply various effects. Luminance and color range are located from the select menu drop down. Notice that when the tool is opened, your entire image should appear in red. This red is an indication of what is presently selected. As we adjust these luminance and color range values, you'll see this red overlay change. Let's start with color. To turn on the color range section, click the modal box up in the top left. Let's target the sky and mountains for this example. I'll spin the wheel to the blue spectrum and widen the color wheel to accommodate for purples and cyans. Note that I can increase something called smoothness, which essentially feathers the effect. Feathering is when the edge of the selection has a gradient instead of a binary of either on or off. Now let's add luminance. By default, our luminance range, meaning brightness, is shaped like a trapezoid. This omits really bright whites. We can include them by dragging this top point further to the right. Note that highlights and whites are located on the right here, and blacks and shadows are located on the left. Once we have established our selection, we can close this window. The red selection is held in place, which means we can apply effects now. For example, if I select levels, this same red selection will be applied to our levels mask here. When I adjust levels, it will only be applied to the white areas that are represented by the mask thumbnail. In this case, it will be applied to the sky and the mountains, not the foreground grassy area. I can soften this effect by clicking on the mask itself and dragging the feathering up. I can also reduce the opacity of the layer itself to create a median between the effects I just added and the original image. Please like this video, subscribe and click the bell icon, and most importantly, please comment with suggestions of what you'd like me to cover next. Take care.